why you can't avoid protein, look on the average American's bookshelves and it will be a safe bet that on a very large percentage of them you will find books that advise avoiding sugar or fat or carbohydrates completely. You will see books that teach you how to live a totally meat-free diet. You will see how to avoid dairy products or gas-producing foods or any number of foods, food groups or nutrients. What you are not likely to find at all, however, is any kind of information that tells you how to avoid protein. These books do not exist for a number of reasons, protein is one of the most vital nutrients that we consume. Protein comes from so many sources it would be virtually impossible to do so. A lack of protein can lead to a number of other health conditions. In reality, there is no need to eliminate any entire food group or nutrient type. Eating a balanced diet that includes all types of foods keeps us healthy and strong and is far easier to accomplish. There is no need for the extreme diets of the past that try to eliminate all carbohydrates from the diet in place of nearly all protein, nor is there a need to try to stick to an all-liquid protein diet. Protein is important, but so are carbs and fats. With all three nutrients, it is important to have the right types and the right amounts. Protein's role in the body, it is a myth that protein only builds muscle and nothing more. Further, it is a myth that you cannot get fat from eating protein, all excess foods, regardless of their source, can be stored by the body as fat if it is not used as an energy source. Protein is vital for every cell in the body, including hair, skin and nails in addition to the muscles and organs. Proteins break down into amino acids, which work in a number of different and very complex ways. Before that happens though, the body has to digest the foods in the first place. When food of any kind is eaten, it is broken down and used as immediate energy, converted to glycogen and stored for use in the near future or converted to fat to be stored for the long term. The body treats fats, carbohydrates and proteins in the same way at this point. All food calories are equal in the digestion storage cycle. In some types of meals, especially those that are highly processed or greasy, the body is flooded with insulin which polices the area, and all or most of the calories are rounded up and stored immediately. It is important to eat foods then that slow this insulin surge, including complex carbohydrates, healthy fats and low-fat protein sources. Some protein supplements, like Profect, can be used to slow this cycle when consumed as a between-meal snack or with a meal. The slower that the food is absorbed, the less that sugar levels will be spiked, in turn reducing fat storage. Protein is broken down during digestion into its basic compounds, amino acids. The human body makes many of its own amino acids, however, there are eight that the body cannot make on its own. These eight essential amino acids are leucine, isoleucine, valine, threonine, methanine, phenylalanine, tryptophan and lysine. In children there is one more amino acid that is considered to be essential. This additional amino is histidine. Source, the Vegetarian Society. Protein sources, protein comes from both animal and plant sources. In addition, it comes in a wide range of supplement types that many people find convenient, especially when they are running through a number of errands on the road. Animal sources, meats, especially lean poultry, lean cuts of beef and others, eggs, dairy foods such as milk and cheeses, plant sources, beans, nuts and seeds, soybeans and soybean products, protein supplements, powders, liquid protein shots, protein shakes, protein bars. Protein's role in diseases and conditions, in addition to the vital roles it plays in every cell of the body, protein is also important to increase thermogenesis and plays a role in the feeling of the body's satiety. Protein also plays a major role in the prevention of a number of health conditions and diseases. These include, aging, the protein needs of an adult increase after the age of 55 to an amount about one-third higher than that of the average person between 19 and 54. Bed sores, burns, trauma and other skin-related problems, those who are at risk of developing or suffering from bed sores need about double the recommended amount of protein to properly heal. Increased protein can also work to prevent bed sores as well. Source, the University of Health Sciences Chicago Medical School, HIV, it might be surprising to some people that those who are HIV positive need to make sure that they are first, increasing their liquid intake to better help medications and micronutrients travel through the body, and second, increasing calories to give them energy and to make sure that they are remaining as strong as possible, and third, increasing protein intake to help keep the immune system strong. Excess protein can cause dehydration, so the fluids must be present as well. Protein's role in the diet, protein not only keeps you feeling fuller for longer, but it also increases the body's thermogenesis as well. Thermogenesis refers to the body's creation of heat during digestion and is weighted by how much the body's temperature is increased after eating a certain meal or certain nutrient. Meal-induced thermogenesis creates an 8% increase in the average person, and those who are in reduced calorie diets see thermogenesis of around 4-5%. For the individual food nutrients, the thermogenesis breakdown is 3% for fats, 10% for carbs and 30% for proteins. In fact, only alcohol increases thermogenesis more than proteins. 
Source, Westertip, Department of Human Biology, because protein is so vital, humans, as well as other animals, will continue to eat food until a near approximation of the right type and amount is consumed. The more foods that are needed to accomplish these requirements, the more calories that will be consumed, leading to weight gain. Source, Science Alert, Massey University. Eating a higher protein diet can help with weight loss programs, allowing the body to feel fuller on a smaller amount of food. Ironically, the higher protein intake does not change the levels of hormones related to hunger, colon, or satiety, lectin, in any way. Source, The American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Conclusion, protein is nearly impossible to avoid, even if you wanted to. It is found in a number of food sources, including plant and animal sources. Proteins are created by the body in some amounts, however, if the body does not get the proteins that it needs, it will seek out the nutrient, typically leading to weight gain.